Hi, my name is Jesse Ingram and I'm from Cocoa Beach, Florida. However, today we're shooting in Stevenson, Washington, located smack dab in the middle of the beautiful Columbia River Gorge. During this course, our home here in Stevenson was in a level two evacuation area due to a firestorm ravaging all the mountains in our area. Luckily, copious amounts of rain began falling Sunday and my family is home safe and sound. So let's get back to business. Today I'd like to tell you all about the evolution of lighting within motion picture filmmaking. Lighting is one of the biggest aspects in film and yet it seems to be something that is rarely talked about. In the late silent film era, lighting instruments were very much in use. Three point lighting where a key light, fill light, and backlight were used around an object were the most common form of lighting during the silent era. One of the sources for light in that era were arc lights which produced illumination by means of an electric spark jumping between two poles of carbon. Unfortunately, carbon arc lamps used in filmmaking caused a condition known as Klieg eyes in actors. The Klieg lamp was a type of arc lamp used for a period of time. Filmmakers eventually had to stop using carbon arc lamps altogether with the coming of sound due to all the noise that the arc lamps produced. The other lighting option was mercury vapor lamps, which worked in a way similar to modern fluorescent lights. Both the arc lamps and the mercury vapor lamps allowed the creation of directional lighting, meaning that a chosen area of the set could be lit more brightly than other parts. This ability to choose which spots the audience should look opened up new options for filmmakers. Additionally, lighting was a huge component of the German expressionist silent cinema. Shadows were painted on the set of the cabinet of Dr. Caligari to make the images strange and unrealistic. Expressionism gave German filmmakers the creative freedom not found in American films because realism didn't matter. This freedom from expressionism allowed directors to use all sorts of new lighting techniques. Enoch Arden, produced in 1911, is often cited as a film that introduced a significant new technique the creation of a soft lighting effect on faces by using reflectors to redirect strong backlight. Today, lighting still continues to evolve and there's even more options for the filmmaker of today. For example, right here I can turn on a light, I can increase the intensity, and I can also change the color. All this done with an easy battery powered light, which allows the filmmaker to have all kinds of options when shooting films. Lighting is such an important part of filmmaking that it literally moved the film industry from one side of the continent to the other. The only light source large enough for adequate exposure was the sun. This was the first reason for the industry to leave New York, overcast days and inconsistent light conditions. The second reason was due to patent wars between motion picture producers and the Edison Motion Picture Patent Company. So although lighting isn't brought up in video very often, you can see that lighting has a major, major role within filmmaking. So big that it moved the film industry from New York to LA, and so important that all kinds of technology and evolution has gone into making films even better each year. Thank you for listening to my video, and have a great day.